every count, we're looking at some more uh, observations about logarithms. And the first thing I wanted to show you is how to take a logarithm with a base other than 10 or E on your calculator. So get out your calculator. And first of all, tell me, what is the log to the base 10 of 4? So you're asking the calculator to find out what exponent do I give 10 to get 4. So we're expecting a number like 10 to the 1 is 10. So 4 is long, uh, lower. So we're expecting an exponent that is between 0 and 1. And your calculator knows that if you just tell L O tell it L O G, that is base 10. So go ahead and hit log of 4. And close the parentheses, it'll matter later. It won't matter on this one. 0 0.602, that's good, it's 0 0.602. So does that make sense? Is that the exponent I get this number to get this number? Let's try it. 10, the unwritten log base is 10 raised to the 0 0.602, does it equal 4? So there's a button that will raise 10 to anything, and it's actually above the LOG button. So if you hit 10 raised to the 0.602, you can use that button. Or you can just plug in 10 raised to the 0.602. And when you do that, either way, you're going to get 3.999 something, so um, very close to 4. So let's try that with an ln. So the ln of 4 would be a base e logarithm. So ln 4 is 1.386, we'll say. And does that make sense? The unwritten exponent, the uh, unwritten base is e. This is the exponent. Does it give me this number? This raised to this should give you that. 1.386 as an exponent to e. 1.386 gives me 3.9988, so pretty close to 4, as is this. All right, so we're fine on the calculator if we have base 10 or base e. How about if we have another base? Say I want y equals log to the base 8 of 4. So I want to know what exponent do I give 8 to get 4. Now the calculator has no such button, so we have a formula to develop. And what we're going to do is talk, us, talk through that. So I want y equals another expression that is equivalent to log to the base 8 of 4 that my calculator can do. So let's first of all rewrite this in exponential form. Remember we have uh, y equals log to the base 10 of 100 is 2. So I'll put the 2 on this side. Can be rewritten as 10 raised to the 2 equals 100. That was what we were practicing the very first day that we learned logarithms. So how can I rewrite this one in exponential form? It's always this base raised to this exponent equals that number. All right, so 8 to the y equals 4. One thing we can do in mathematics when we have an equation is we can do whatever we do on one side, we can do on the other. We can subtract 2 on one side, subtract 2 on the other. But if we have a situation like this and we have an exponent, we may want to take a logarithm because the logarithms are, uh, work well with exponents. So I'm going to take a log that I do know, such as LOG, of both sides. I'm allowed to do that mathematically sound. So I'm going to take the log of both sides. As long as you take the log of one side and take the log of the other, you're fine. Now we have a law of exponent, a law of logarithms that allows us to do what with this exponent? Where else can it fly? All right, an exponent can become a coefficient. So we're gonna let it fly out in front. 
And now I'm going to divide both sides by log of 8 and get y by itself. And now I notice if y equals this and y also equals this, they are equal to each other. So I can write log to the base 8 of 4 equals log 4 over log 8. So I can find this logarithm on my calculator because this is the base 10 logarithm. And notice the pattern, and it always works this way. You want log to the base four of eight. It's always going to be the log that you do know of this number divided by the log that you do know of this number. Visually, I can I have a mental cue. I see this four is taller than this eight in the expression. So that helps me remember it's log four on the numerator divided by the lower log eight. Now back here, if I had taken the ln, that's another logarithm I know, instead of log, this work would look identical, except at the end, I would have ln of 4 over ln of 8. So which one is the right one? We can do either one. So let me see if that's true. I am going to calculate the log to the base 8 of 4 by putting in log 4. And I'm going to close the parentheses, so this seems to make a difference. Divided by log 8. And I've got 0.6666, one of our favorite numbers. 0.6667, I'll round. And now I'm going to put in ln of 4 over ln of 8. Closing parentheses around the numbers. Divided by ln of 8. So try that for yourself and confirm that I get the same number whether I use ln or log. So here's a formula. This is just one example. It does work in all cases. Log to the base b of some number, we'll say x equals l O G of X over L O G of B or L N of X over L N of B. And that formula is called the change of base formula. So it's changing it from a base B, in this case a base 8, to a base 10. Change of base. It's the change of base formula. It'll show up in our work now, so be familiar with it, write down its development, and I, hopefully I'll do a comp book check tomorrow and see how you're doing there. Alright, we'll end today with looking at exponential equations and logarithmic equations. That's where we'll spend the bulk of our time tomorrow, solving equations like that. We'll start with um, one like this. This is an exponential equation. You don't see the word log, but you see an exponent has the unknown in it. So if we want to get x, when we say solve, we want to get x by itself. But the